Hi, my name is Tom Casey and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your carpet cleaning company. Basically the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for carpet cleaning in Mesa. And today I'm only going to cover two factors because I want to keep this video short. But these are two things I want to run by you. Um, before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for carpet cleaning. This is a tool from Google. It does a monthly count of search terms and gives you a monthly average. And what we're looking at here is for the last 12 months, starting in March of 2015, going all the way back to April 14, how many people searching for carpet cleaning in Mesa? Okay, and this rounds it up to the nearest 10, but you're going to see there's quite a few people. <laughs> there was 480 in April, 590 in May, 390 dropped down to 480, back up, up to 590, down to 390, 480, and then look at March. My God, it really jumped in March, 880. That's huge. That's a lot of people searching for carpet cleaning, right? So I thought this would be a good exercise. What I did, I went over here to Google to the search for carpet cleaning Mesa. And this is page one right here. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. Here you are, classic carpet cleaning. And you are near the bottom of page two, okay? So, two factors I'm gonna to cover today. These are two factors search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They consider way more than two, but for the purpose of today's exercise, we're just gonna look at these two. I wanna compare you with somebody on this page using those factors, and I wanna see if there's any differences. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it to help you out and move you up in search results, all right? So we're gonna use Ultima, uh, this guy right here, for comparison, since he's on this page. Let's go look at the first factor, which is citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's one called Local Pages. So if Classic Carpet Cleaning had a listing on Local Pages, name, address, phone number listing, that's considered one citation, okay? Search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Now, at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here, and it says you have 50 citations, okay? Ultima, who we're comparing ourselves to, is 100. So, basically double what you have. But the good news is, we can quickly and easily add you to these directory sites. So this number 50, we can bump that up close to 100 in short order. If we do that, that's going to give you a nice positive boost in search rankings. You're definitely going to move up, all right? So that's just with citations. The second factor I want to talk about today is the most important. This one's called backlinks. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called mesacarpetcleaningsupplies.com and on their website they had a link to classiccarpetcleaningaz.com that's considered one backlink for you okay search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations again they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business and they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you now this website here goes out and does a count of backlinks the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks. So we're saying it's, you got three unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Ultima. They have 27. Okay, so again, a bit of a difference there. But the good news is we also can add backlinks to your site. All right? The reason these guys are ranking is because of this number, but this score is really bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are coming into your site. It's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The better and stronger the website, the higher that score is going to be. This really should be, on average, more like a high 20, low 30%. So what that means to you is we don't need to add 20 backlinks to get you moved up. If we maybe just add 8 or 10, but make, make them very good quality backlinks from good quality websites and get your score up to like high 20, low 30%, that would be huge for you. Huge you would really jump in search rankings, all right? So, anyway, hope you found this was helpful. I mean, we only talked about citations 
and backlinks, but you can see that there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. You also are learning that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. When we do, just these two factors alone give you a nice boost in search rankings. All right? So, again, I hope you found this was somewhat helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to discuss other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So if you'd like to find out how I might be able to help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email, and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.